Hi, I'm Audrey. And I'm Sarah. And we're going to show you how to make the ultimate ice cream cake. This recipe comes to us from a Lauren Habermel, and this is a Dairy Queen copycat recipe, but we think it's even better than the original. Yeah, so let's get started. Our first step is to put our cake pan in the freezer. This is going to help stop our ice cream from melting and make it easier to assemble our cake. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so after that, we're going to go ahead and get our Oreo cookie crumb assembled. So we have a small food processor here, and I'm gonna take 12 Oreos and just plop them in here. Yum. And give it a quick pulse. You don't want too big of pieces, because um, you know you wanna have enough to be able to break it up within the cake, but you don't want it too small, like to a dust. So we're just gonna go ahead and pulse it a few more times. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and add my butter. Okay. After I add the melted butter, we're gonna pulse it just a couple more times till the, the crumbs are nice and coarse. I got the baking tray for you. Perfect. <laughs> I'd say we're about there. Yeah, looks good. That thing is tricky, huh? I know. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Yeah. All right, then I'm gonna put these in an even layer on the baking sheet and then they go in at 350 for 10 minutes. It's important to bake these so they don't get soggy when they're in between the ice cream layers. Yes, nobody likes soggy cookie crumbs between the layers. No, I love a good crunch in my ice cream cake. Absolutely. All right, All right. so that looks about an even layer. Okay, I'm gonna pop them in the oven. Perfect. So the Oreo cookie crumbs are out of the oven and we're just letting those cool completely. And while those are cooling, we can start on our ganache filling. This is gonna go in the center of our cake. This ganache is gonna add a super fudgy, rich, chocolatey texture and flavor to our cake. Mm -hmm. So to start, I have some heavy cream that I brought to a simmer and I'm gonna pour this over my chocolate chips. You want this to come just to a simmer but not to a full boil. And I'm gonna make sure that all of my chips are fully submerged in the heavy cream so they get evenly melted. And I'm gonna let it sit for about 30 seconds or so so they can really get a chance to fully melt before I stir it together. It's super warm in there. I know. Yeah. Ganache is super fun to make because it sort of looks like it's never gonna come together. Mm -hmm. Like it just looks like you're making almost like chocolate milk and then all of a sudden it's like magic before your eyes becomes this super luscious and creamy ganache. Yeah. So I'm gonna start stirring it now and I'm gonna start in the center and just keep stirring and like Sarah said, it's kinda gonna look a little bit funky at first, like I don't know if this is gonna melt, mm -hmm. but you just gotta keep stirring Yeah. and it will come together. You can already see it starting to form in the center. Right. Yeah, but slowly works its way out. It's like magic. I, it really is. <laughs> it's so gorgeous to watch too. Very soothing, honestly. Yes, yes. <laughs> So as it's starting to come together, I'm gonna to add our final two ingredients, and that is corn syrup and some vanilla extract. Yum. Stir to combine, and then I'm gonna set this aside and let it cool completely before we add it to our cake. Now it's time to start assembling our ice cream cake. And the first thing that we're gonna do is we've taken our vanilla ice cream out and let mm -hmm. it sit at room temperature for about 15 minutes just so that it's soft enough to easily pipe into this piping bag. And I'm just gonna scoop about half of it in there. This is gonna be used as a barrier that we're gonna pipe around the edge of our cake. This is gonna help keep all of our layers inside so that when we frost it and cut it, they won't leak out. And it's like a super nice consistency. As yeah. you can see, it's like, just soft enough that I'm able to scoop it with ease, but also like it's not quite melting. All right, you wanna grab the pan so that we can start. Yeah, and while I'm doing cooking. that, I'll throw your ice cream back in the Perfect. freezer. Perfect, thank you. Let me oh take yeah, I'll leave that. the scoop. Be right back. Lovely. All right, and we're just gonna bring all the ice cream down to the bottom of our piping bag. It's gonna nice be a little cold. cold, cold on your hands, but yeah. whoops worth it, it's worth it for the end. So, just going to take our pan here and just pipe all the way around the edges. 
and you want to get it all the way up to the top of the rim if you can, mm -hmm. just to ensure that it holds Come on, in. squeeze. I know. <laughs> So be a test of your muscles and your ability to withstand cold temperatures. <laughs> and since you're doing that, I can smooth it out while you're piping. Perfect. So that we get a nice even border on the edge. I'll hold this for you. Thank you. All right, can you start um, doing a little... It is very cold, so if you need to take we... a couple breaks to set it down, that's all right. Just wanted to slide it up the edges there. Do you want to swap? Yeah, you want to take turns? Swap. Perfect. As it gets a little cold on your hands. Oh yeah, oh my god, you made it look easy. <laughs> Had my game face on. <laughs> <laughs> but this is good, because we don't want it to be too melty. Yeah. So. But yeah, this is also another reason why we've got the cold, the pan so cold. Keeping it in the freezer will help your ice cream to um, not melt as we are forming this rim here. You can always throw it back in the freezer That's too. We'll let it chill. Do. Yeah, let's. We'll pop it back in the freezer and then mm -hmm. we will just give it another reshaping just to get it all smoothed out. So, all right, here we go. So our cookie crumbs have cooled and now we're gonna finish prepping them to go in the middle layer of our cake. We have three tablespoons of chocolate magic shell and we're gonna pour that over our crumbs and then mix it until all of the cookie crumbs are evenly coated. Looks delicious. Yeah, I love magic shell. Me too. Super fun. Reminds me of being a kid. Mm -hmm. um, so what this is going to do, uh, in addition to just being delicious, it's going to act as just an additional layer to coat the cookie crumbs and keep them from being um, soggy in between the layers of ice cream. So that looks pretty good. We're going to pour it back onto our baking pan, spread into an even layer, and then these are going to go in the freezer for 30 minutes. We've become best friends with the freezer today. So. Yeah, we really have. <laughs> so our vanilla ice cream has been freezing for 30 minutes. And I also brought out our Oreo cookie crumbs from the freezer and our ganache that we made earlier that has cooled. Perfect. So I'm just going in and we're going to go ahead and take this entire pint of chocolate ice cream, scoop it in for our first layer. And you don't need to use a piping bag for this. Um, all you really need to do is scoop and make sure that you're covering the whole first mm -hmm. um, bottom layer of the pan and then take a offset spatula just to smooth out the top just to make sure that um, we've got a nice smooth layer ready for our ganache to go on. Just trying to make sure that we have like mm -hmm. even coverage here. Again, this ice cream has been out for about 15 minutes so it's got um, a good consistency. Do you want to hold this for me? Yes, so that when I'm putting I my mitts on because it's freezing. Yes. <laughs> Again, this is another reason it's nice to have a buddy when making your ice cream cake. All right, okay. that's pretty smooth. I think, yeah. I think we're pretty good here. Again, mm -hmm. doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. Mm -hmm. Just enough so that you don't have any air pockets in there and so that it's smooth enough for mm -hmm. our ganache to go on. So now we can start assembling the next layers. So I have here all of our ganache and I'm gonna spread this out. This has been sitting out at room temp and it's completely cooled. So you can see that it's gotten a lot thicker. It's like and a nice fudgy consistency. Yeah. It's like delicious. hot fudge, like the stuff you get in a jar, like, yeah. but a lot better. <laughs> All right, I think that looks pretty Gorgeous. good. Awesome. Okay. Good. Yeah. So Oreo crumbs going in. Yum. Oh my God, those look so good. It, this just smells amazing too. Yeah. And they're going to be so crispy in the middle. So, I'm just going to take the same spatula. Okay. Just push them down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just ensure everything is nice and tight in there. We want everything to just be nice and leveled off in there. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I think it looks good. Perfect. And back into the freezer for... 30 minutes? Yes, 30 minutes. All right. We are ready for our last layer of ice cream. I have here the remaining half of our vanilla ice cream, and I'm gonna spread it out in an even layer on the top of our other layers of cookies and ganache. Perfect. I left a quarter cup in the container of ice cream so that we can patch any holes once we take it out of the springform pan. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I could tell what you needed. Okay. Perfect, that looks good. 
cool. So this goes back into the freezer for four hours or overnight. And after this, all we're gonna do is decorate. So this is our last step. Now we're gonna make some whipped cream icing to frost our cake with. I've got heavy whipping cream in here and I'm just gonna beat it until soft peaks form. All right, let's test. Yep, yep. So we've got soft peaks because they aren't, they don't stand straight up when you lift it up. Mm -hmm. See how it sort of droops over the side there? Yeah. Perfect. Look like soft peaks to me. Yes. So now we can add the powdered sugar and vanilla extracts. And then we can whip that until stiff peaks form. Perfect. That looks good. Yeah. All right. So I as you can ready. see, it's not as much stiff peaks as it is just holding its shape, uh -huh. you can see a, a chunk falling off there, <laughs> just so that it's a good spreadable consistency and so it'll hold up in the piping bag. Yeah. Um, and you can either pop this in the fridge until you're ready to decorate, but we are ready, so I now is the are. fun part. We can start frosting. Yay, I'm so excited. So it's finally time to frost our cake. Debatably the most exciting part. Yes, I can't wait to eat this. I'm gonna start by doing the top and then the sides. So you want to move quickly on this, right? Mm -hmm. Quickly enough so that your um, ice cream doesn't melt. Mm -hmm. And like a thin, even layer. Yes, well, I'm looking for a thin, even layer. It's, and it might help go down the sides a little bit, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. You know, frosting an ice cream cake is a little messy. It's going to be a yeah. little messy, but that's definitely fine because you have all these tools to help mm -hmm. you smooth it out. Yeah, you can use a small offset too if you want. All right. Just smoothing off our top here and okay. then... Next, we're gonna do our fudge. So I'm gonna pour some around the sides and let it drip down. Let's move this a little closer. So pretty. And it's okay if it drips down to the plate too. All right, so that's I think the last drop. Looking gorgeous. All right, and you don't have to wait for this to cool or anything. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and pipe on just the remaining leftover frosting. And you can pipe any way you want. Mm -hmm. Just give this a squeeze, there we go. I'm just gonna do a simple turn. And here's a hack to make sure that you end up with the right amount. If you go one right directly across, and then make four directly across from each other. And then from there you just fill in and that way you make sure you have enough and you don't end up with one really, really small next mm. to it or something, you know? Yeah, I love that. Yeah. What tip is this? This is, I believe... Star tip? It's a star tip, yes. I can't okay. see the number. Oh, it's a 4B star tip. Okay. That's a little specific. You can use <laughs> whatever you have at home. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I love this. It gives it a really classic look. Yeah. Perfect. Ta-da! Okay, now it's the best part. Sprinkle time. Sprinkles. Everybody dig in and sprinkle. We're just using classic, like, pastel sprinkles because mm -hmm. that, to me, Ooh. that's what sings like a Dairy Queen ice cream <laughs> cake, right? Oh yeah, sprinkles all on the top, too. Mm -hmm. So after we're done decorating, we're gonna stick this back in the fridge for about two hours, just till mm -hmm. it sets up enough before we cut it. Our cake's been chilling for two hours and it is looking amazing. It really does look <laughs> great. And it's nice and solid too, it's nice and set up. So when mm -hmm. we cut into it, it's gonna hold its shape. Yep. And let this be proof that you don't need to go to the store to spend your money on an ice cream cake. You can definitely mm -hmm. make one at home and it's sure to wow your guests. And I don't know about you, but I would love this for a birthday party. Oh, of course. Not just cakes. Any occasion. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, best part. Will you cut me a piece? Absolutely. 